little worm just insult me? Not good. I thought he was going to follow us to the first. <laughs> Thank you again. So, before I continue, I actually, that was one of the very few things I knew about without, thankfully, spoiling, because that scene was badass. I didn't know the context of it, but I did know um, there when you see Alfino do the healing, if you yourself are a healer, so if you switch just before I take the elevator, you also assist in healing Kai. Forgive me in my anger. I seem to have marched us back outside again. Though it is probably best we leave the island altogether. I believe we've worn out our welcome in Yulmore. In any case, I've seen enough of this world's self-reclaimed capital city to convince me that our battle against the Sin Eaters will find few allies in Calicia. I will accompany you back to the Crystarium. We need to regroup and think on our strategy anew. Kaishia, I have done you a grave disservice. You were hungry and desperate, and I offered you a solution without once considering the risks inherent in you accepting it. If I had but known the price you would be made to pay. You gave me everything I needed to make your idea work. It was me who made a mess of things, not you. But even after all the trouble I caused, you stepped in and saved me, and now Lord Vorthry wants us all dead. Why not come back with us to the Crystal? I am certain we can find work for you there, if you are willing. No, that would just be me leaning on your kindness again. I need to do something. Learn how to stand on my own two feet. But that's what he's offering. Very well, but you must promise you'll be careful. The Yule Morans may yet come looking for us. I'll keep my head down, don't worry. And you take care too. Give me the chance to repay what you've done for me. Alf? Alfino! Lord and Lady Chai? What in the blazes did you do? They have the entire city looking for you. Oh, I took a peek at your unfinished portrait, Alfino. Now I've had many beautiful and striking pictures painted for me, but there was nothing about your work. No, there was something about your work. It was as if you had caught the very essence of our love and rendered it naked upon the canvas. It was bold, unflinching, and I adored it. Please, you must come back with us and finish what you began. I will speak with Lord Vorthry and vouch for your character. I'm sure we can smooth over any hard feelings. I'm sorry, Lady Chai. There are more important matters to which I must attend. More important? What could be more important than enjoying the days we have left to the fullest? Pray press me no further. We are leaving, but I would not presume to take the garment you were so kind to procure for me. One moment. Oh, I wouldn't hear of it. 
Keep the clothes, you silly boy. I insist. And I shall make arrangements so you can pass through the gates without causing a stir. I expect you to come and visit. I will return. I promise you that. The outrage I witnessed not The outrage I witnessed must not go unanswered. The next time we meet, I shall be better prepared to confront the corruption which hides behind the glittering facade. So, I wonder if we're allowed to use the ether crystal yet. I would guess no. It must be just like a bigger part of the story. Well, I say a bigger part of the story. Just a part of the story. Bum, 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 bum. I guess technically there's no reason for us to go there quite yet. Huh. Maybe this is some effect then. I mean obviously it's it's not like the edge isn't a cliff. But that could be because of the calamity. Because a lot of the ground was, like, moved and some parts were raised, some parts were lowered, some things just weren't right. It's possible. I know that Yulemore is technically meant to be, like, Limsa Laminsa. But it doesn't have to be exactly where it was. Thank you, my friend, for staying by side through this whole sordid endeavour. While it's not quite the joyous outcome I had hoped for, our efforts have nevertheless answered a great many questions. Mm, suffice it to say, our plans for saving the first are unlikely to involve the aid of Lord Vorthry and his subjects. Come, we must speak with the Exarch and chart, chart, chart a new course. This is far from over. Oh, and we're back! Dusselgate. Well, that was certainly not the way I was expecting the story to go. And not, not everything was answered, which makes sense. Huh. I'm definitely going to have a lot to think on after this. Ah, it's good to be back amongst friends. Not to mention my dear sister. I have not seen her for some time, but I gather she is as keen to press on with our plans as I am. And as you've seen, and you've seen quite a lot of the first yourself now. More than enough to appreciate the scale of the obstacles we face. Let us lay our discoveries before the Exarch and discuss what must be done. The Light Wardens. Hey, our first level 71 quest. The Crystal Exarch welcomes you back to the Crystaria. Come on, have a voice acting scene. Give me a, like, two minute break. So you return. Ah, thank God. Have you gained a better understanding of the crisis now faced by the first? Somewhat. Better is not the word I would use. 
Some lands may have been spared the flood, but the survivors live only to suffer. There seems no end to the horrors inflicted by the Sin Eaters. Indeed. Those abominations are a calamity in their own right. And I can well imagine how hopeless the task of eradicating them must seem to you. But after countless battles and untold sacrifice, we have identified a potential weakness. Sin Eaters are drawn to serve the strongest of their kind, a class of creature we call Light Wardens. And from what we have been able to ascertain, only a handful of these entities exist. Huh, like 4-3 maybe. Just as an ant colony will perish in the absence of its queen, we believe that the death of a Light Warden will cause the lesser creatures within its sphere of influence to disperse. I have a feeling Yulmo might have something to say about any concerted action we take against these monsters. Vorthra's command over the Sin Eaters is integral to Yulmoran society. In seeming to guarantee his people's safety, it guarantees their obedience. He will not take kindly to us depriving him of such useful allies. Agreed. Thus we will need to occupy or otherwise divert his forces whilst we proceed with the business of eliminating the Wardens. Until we have done so, all other considerations must be set aside if we are to forestall the Eighth Umbral Calamity. Are you sure that eliminating the Wardens would be enough? I'm not sure I follow. No, I follow. Are you sure that eliminating the Wardens will be enough? It's a start. Your uncertainty is understandable, given the circumstances. Perhaps a more detailed explanation is in order. To begin at the beginning, then. In the past, a single star was divided into 14 worlds. This is the source, your home. These others are the 13 shards, in whose number we find the first. Though physically separate, they retain a connection to each other and with the source especially. Now, let us assume that a given element in one of the shards attains abnormal ascendancy. Just as water will flow from the highest point to the lowest, the excess energy will begin trickling into the source. And such an influx of ether will of course exert a palpable influence. If the element in question were fire, then drought and wildfires might ensue. If it were ice, one might expect the weather to turn bitterly cold. As ether continues to pour in, such phenomena will become more and more extreme, until eventually, a single, untimely event triggers a disaster which cracks the barrier dividing the two worlds. What was once a trickle, now becomes a deluge, sweeping the shard along to be rejoined with the source. At the same time, the element which held sway in the shard is unleashed in full, its energies amplifying the original disaster to truly catastrophic proportions. An earthquake thus magnified might strike with enough force to shatter continents, a tidal wave might swell to a size capable of drowning entire nations. These devastating events are what we refer to as umbral calamities. Seven times has a calamity befallen the source. Seven times has a shard been absorbed.
present, the light drowned realm of the first stands perilously close to meeting the conditions for a rejoining. It is the Sin Eaters who are to blame for the light's continued dominance. In addition to attracting their lesser kin, the Light Wardens I mentioned earlier radiate ether, saturating every corner of their territory with light. Even here in the flood-spared region of Norvrant, their influence is strong enough to banish night from the sky. Thus, if we are to restore balance to the first and head off a potential calamity, it is imperative that we put each and every Light Warden to the sword. We've been doing our best to take the fight to the enemy ever since we first heard the Exarch's explanation. Though we have yet to claim any meaningful victories, if truth be told. Apart from being confoundingly elusive, the Light Wardens possess a troublesome quality which compelled us to delay our plans until such time as you arrived. Forgive the interruption, my lord, but Holminster Switch is requesting reinforcements. They say the Sin Eaters are attacking in force, and the village could soon be overrun. Alert the guard. We should be prepared in case the fighting reaches the Crystarium. You have command of our forces in the field, Captain, but hold off on entering the town until I arrive. That goes for Alphano and Alize as well. My lord. Pray, lend us your strength. Such a fight will provide you with far greater insight than any explanation I could offer. So, I need to take a two second break here to talk about something. Something that doesn't sit with me. We just had that whole explanation about the ether getting too strong and then it overwhelming and it trickles in and then it cracks and then it absorbs that world. And they say that of the times that's happened and it showed that happening with dark, but that is not what happened. We know for a fact because we've been to the world of darkness. So it is still there. So it has not rejoined with the source, despite apparently falling to darkness. But then it was said that it is unable to rejoin because of that. Which, I don't know, something doesn't sound or feel right to me about that. Hominus to switch is north of Lakeland, so we'd best make haste with our preparations. In fact, meet me outside the Crystarium at the crossroads northwest of the Ascension Gate. No, Ascensor Gate, and I shall lead you there myself. It doesn't... There's something in it that doesn't make sense. Actually, I can use the teleporter to get out, can't I? I think. Yeah. Turn on the rock music. Do, 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 do. There's the exarch.
All set? If we follow this road, road north, we will arrive at the northern staging point. The village itself lies not far beyond. Quickly now. Also, while we're on the way there, it takes a really long time to load this. Look, I've actually leveled up a bit in the two areas. Though I'm at 5 out of 60 here. So it's going to take a bit of a while. Also, since it's like here-ish, I've still not even unlocked the trading. Do, 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 do. Ah, lizard! No, lizard! Lizzie, no, Lizzie, no! Bum, 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 ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. The eggs aren't asked that we wait, so, and so I waited. You're here? We are heading in together, yes? Not, not you're here. You're here. Oh god, I haven't done your... Your assistance is most appreciated. That's a terrible voice. It is closer to Russian. Oops. Our minister's switch has passed these gates into the woods. Tis not exactly a near neighbor to the Crystarium, but as we occupy the same region, we have built up something of a cooperative relationship. What can we expect inside, Captain? The town is beset by a swarm unlike any we have seen in recent years. We did our best to e e evacuate the villagers, but as many as half remain. Judging by the number of eaters present, we have good reason to believe that the, a light warden leads the attack. How convenient! It seems we'll have our chance to slay a warden sooner than we expected. <laughs> one does not simply slay a warden. Has no one told you what happens if you defeat one of those fiends? They hold more light inside them than all of the underlings put together. It can be struck down, aye, but its essence won't dissipate like the weaker kind. Vile ether will billow outwards and envelop the nearest living being, a reckless young swordsman perhaps, and turn her into a brand new warden. Aye, well, you... You can leave that particular quandary to us. I must ask that the guards stand down and allow us to engage this leader of eaters alone. Contra concentrate on the survivors. We must save every life we can. But what if... Understood. My lord, as captain of the guard, however, I will not watch you brave such danger without an escort from our ranks. I insist that I go with you. Very well. Then our warden sling party shall include myself, the levelers, Captain Lena, and last but not least... A formidable group indeed. Into Hull Minister we go. Once we reach the Light Wardens, do not hold back. We strike to kill.
Home Minister Switch now accessible. Woo! The first dungeon has been unlocked! The instance dungeon encountered in Shadowbringer as main scenario quests can be completed solo alongside a supporting party of NPCs. To make use of this feature, simply speak to one of the MP your NPC companions near the entrance to the instance and select the option to form a party. When forming a party, you will need to follow the same role restrictions imposed when using the duty finder. Alternatively, you can find party members via the duty finder as usual and complete the instance with fellow players instead. I intend to do each of the story dungeons with NPCs on my first go. As you may have deduced, the troublesome quality of the wardens which I endeavoured to raise earlier was this confounded capacity for spontaneous rebirth. But the Exarch seems confident he has matters in hand, so I shall trust that we may slay our foe without fear of etheric aftermath. My restorative spells are at your disposal. I can't help but wonder if the scale of this raid is related to the recruiting the Eaters were doing in Armorang. Armorang. Not that it matters. After all the combat I saw there, I'm more than ready to test my magics against one of these greater abominations. Command of this soiree is yours. Though I am not as spry as I once was, I hope my long years of experience will serve you in some capacity. I can wield spells to heal or harm, or even fashion an arcane shield and sword, should we have need of a defensive wall. Simply say the word. Destroy a light warden for good? Huh. If it is possible now, then why not before? Whatever the Exarch believes, I will. F Whatever the Exarch believes, I will force a retreat if I deem it necessary. I did not become captain of the guard by being meek or weak. All right then, form a party. Very well. Right. So we have the Acher. Ac Academician? Leave this to me. God Captain, Red Mage, well. and the All Rounder. Very well. My strength is yours. Very well. Let's give it our all. I mean, yeah. I'm gonna have to go with the twins, and I'm I'm intrigued because he can be any role. What? his like DPS classes let's do it Hall Minister Switch 